Hey, what is up guys? Steve here, and it is time to start another stream. Just knows my lights were off. Uh, today we have Gengar in Pokemon Blue version. Now, this is going to be a very, very easy run. I, uh, I honestly, I don't really know where we're going to struggle at all during this entire run. Um, I do predict some Alakazams are going to be a little annoying. That's where Body Slam comes in. Although with 65 attack, I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to knock out all the Alakazams too easily. Plus, our move set, we've got too many good moves. So what am I talking about? Well, um, we've got Hypnosis. We're probably going to want to hold on to that the whole game. We've got uh, Body Slam, we've got Psychic, we got Thunderbolt, and we got Nightshade, or Mega Punch. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I, uh, well, I mean, obviously I'm not going to keep Mega Punch, but uh, Nightshade will outlive its usefulness, obviously. However, the question is, when do I get rid of Nightshade? Because there are a handful of trainers in the game that I do technically struggle against, like, uh, for example, example the executor oh right we don't have an executor the uh, champion is gonna have uh, Venusaur because Thunderbolt is super effective on both Charizard and Blastoise so there really wasn't a bad matchup I coincidentally didn't even think about executor so technically the super effectiveness uh, did not matter um, if anyone thinks I did that on purpose though I can change the ROM now but I don't think it's going to really matter in the end. I think it's going to end up going down to will my hypnosis manage to hit. So <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyways, I think we should probably go ahead and get started. I set the time to 52 minutes. That puts us right there at the victory bell ish area. And remember that victory bell area is like that's a second run, possibly even a third run. So Getting that feat on a first run would be pretty incredible. I think a second run, we can probably go ahead and shoot for 47, but run number 152 seems right there. Alright, this time we have a few nicknames to go with from our poll. It will be, unfortunately, we have to choose between Clyde, Ghostface, and Casper. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't understand Ghostface. <laughs> so I think, I think it's going to be between Clyde and Casper. And you're probably thinking, how is Clyde any better than Ghostface? Clyde is one of the um, the ghosts in Pac-Man. Um, I actually thought, um, like, Pinky would be bink, blink, Blinky, Pinky. Oh, I, I understood the Ghostface reference, but, you know, it doesn't have a white face or anything like that, that, like, resembles, you know, Ghostface. I got it, though. I got it. It just didn't make any sense. Um, honestly, Jinx is more of a Ghostface than uh, Gengar, in my opinion. All right. Oh, fun fact. My first ever Game Boy game was Casper the Friendly Ghost. And then my second ever Game Boy game was Mega Man. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just interesting fun fact. All right. Luckily, I don't have to start the timer until after our Pokemon is nicknamed. Now, I'm curious if we should go ahead and do the optional rival. That's something I'll have to find out in this first run. I think the optional rival will probably be fine, I would hope. It's definitely worth a first run attempt to find out. All 
All right, starter timer. Yeah, I know, no speed. You know, that usually goes down to can I remember or not. Okay, well, if that's how much damage you do to a level 5 Bulbasaur, it's going to be a little bit difficult to hit the level 9 Bulbasaur, but you also got to remember that we have Hypnosis, so that should also make things a little bit on the easier side. Uh, 15 Hypnosis is also kind of annoying. Mmm, man. Imagine if we could have two-shot that with Nightshade. We can now. Now, the question is, will the Bulbasaur be able to hit us with the Leech Seed? Because that will definitely make that battle very annoying. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see if it's annoying. Because, I mean, you got to remember, um, both the Pidgey can hit us with Sand Attack and the Bulbasaur can hit us with Leech Seed. Two moves that I would hate to be hit by. But it might be as simple as just, you know, land both of them. And good things will happen. We will just have to see. I think I'm going to need, like, pretty close to all 15 Nightshades thanks to Sand Attack. So I have to run away from a few of these battles. And by hypnosis, I meant um, confuse Ray, not hip, not um, hypnosis. But you knew what I meant. Or at least I hope you guys knew what I meant. Cool, cool. You seated me twice. Okay. Well, this is not anywhere near the freebie that I thought it was. Even if we do win it, I'm not entirely sure I want to do it again. But, um. Just saying that um, neither of his Pokemon can hit me, which is an interesting little fun fact here. But the other problem is I can't seem to hit him. And uh, Lick does almost no damage. <laughs> this Leech Seed. But Lick does so little damage that <laughs> he heals more than I can hit him for. <laughs> Uh, if only I could run out of PP and hit him with, uh, with struggle, that could have helped. All right, uh, let me add my one reset. There we go. One reset already on the board, and unfortunately, that was a big time waste, too. That is, uh, one of the reasons why I made 52 the um the time oh right that wasn't uh the trainer pokemon i'm stupid so i made 52 because i knew there would be little mistakes like that that would cause a lot of time loss to be fair i did expect him to hit himself more often or at least miss more often but you know it is pokemon i shouldn't have expected good things to happen Blackout, reset, they're all the same to me, honestly. You know, I probably, honestly, could skip this guy, now that I think about it. Question is, do I want to skip? Like, are Brock's Pokemon divisible by 10? Or 11? 11. Are his Pokemon divisible by 11? We're about to find out. 33? Okay. That makes perfect sense then it is definitely worth being level 11. <laughs> Not only is it awesome to be level 11, we then hit level 12, which allows us to three-shot the Onyx perfectly. That could not have gone better. <laughs> uh, that math just mathed. Eh. Unfortunately, uh, I am going to run out of Nightshades very, very easily. Oh, right. I should be using Lick on the Pokemon that literally cannot hit me. 
Oh, hey, Lexi. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, the last last time you heard the stream very much. Out of curiosity, Lexi, um, I had a question for you. Are you the same Lexi that used to um, also watch me back when I played um, Magic the Gathering? Because I, I coincidentally also had a Lexi that used to watch me while I was playing that game too. Oops, wrong move. Worked out though. All right. Um, luckily, I learned from the randomizer race. Not you. Okay. It was just curious. Um, luckily, I learned from the randomizer race or speedrunners randomizer race that any Pokemon that can hit you use Nightshade and any Pokemon that can't hit you use Lick. That way you can conserve your PP as best as humanly possible. And the reason why you want to start off with Lick, despite Lick doing a lot less damage, is because the more Pokemon you knock out with Lick, the higher level you will become, and therefore Nightshade will do more damage. On the bright side, we do get Mega Punch in here. You know, probably shouldn't be knocking those out now that I think about it. Um, it's not really worth the XP, and I don't really have the PP to spare. Or the time, honestly. It takes a while to knock some of these out, unless it's Nightshade, and I only have 15 Nightshades. Uh, on the bright side, I do believe I will go ahead and knock out the Raticate from the Raticate guy because that is a lot of XP and there is no way that Raticate could hit me. Or I could get Mega Punch and I could start hitting these wild Pokemon with Mega Punch. Also, I'm getting like wild Pokemon like every two feet. I don't know if you guys noticed. Literally two feet. I kid you not, I've had like 11 battles in like the last two rooms crazy okay we one shot the Zubat that is very good to know that is why we made it 52 that's exactly why we made it 52 oh the intro music is still playing you're right um fixed. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Still no uh still no Paris though. Yeah, I don't need the extra XP, you're right, so no point in battling Raticate guy. 4738, that is very, very bold. Haven't you already seen me screw up multiple times? Very bold. Oh no, I lost one HP. Whatever shall I do? Interesting. Mega Punch is just kind of better than Nightshade right now. Uh, knowing Steve, it'll either be 5130 or 5230. <laughs> <sighs> Come on. No Paris. So that means we have to get the... Uh, the, the, the sand shrew. Already another big annoyance. Uh, 
Are we visiting Bill? What if I said no? You'd call me pretty stupid, wouldn't you? On the bright side, catching Pokemon is extremely easy thanks to Nightshade. Okay, how many PP will this take? A lot, it will take a lot. Oh no, I missed out on the opportunity to use a super effective lick. Whatever shall I do? God, look at all these misses! Look at all these misses! <laughs> I'm down to six Mega Punches already. I have to, like, heal, like, really soon already. Oh. I can't play Pink Floyd. It's copyrighted. I wouldn't... Uh, the stream wouldn't be able to stay up. There is um, something about even if you do, you know, like, opt to not be paid for, for the content that has copyrighted content... Um, I think they still like blacklist you or so from getting like extra extra views that aren't your regular viewers just because you're using material that's not yours. I mean, they'll never go out and say it, but I've I've definitely done it in the past where if you just have copyrighted material in your video at all, even if you choose not to earn money from it, you just don't get you don't get like extra views at all anymore. The, the views are basically whoever your followers are views and then, then it's just dead. Oh yay. Okay, 10 nightshades. Okay. S six, five. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, that was uh, way closer than it needed to be. Boy, these Pidgeys, they're a real nuisance with their sand attacks. I was hoping that Mega Punch was going to be the key to going through the entirety of the Nugget Bridge without having to heal, but clearly that's not true. So, uh, turns out I can learn Thunderbolt and Thunder. However, I cannot learn Thunder Wave. Just interesting little fun fact. So, Speed said I should consider picking up Seismic Toss for like uh, executor luckily there isn't gonna be an executor so I don't have to worry about that ironically I feel like if there was uh, an executor like um, you know I made the starter anything but Bulbasaur I feel like I would probably be able to beat rival 1a because uh, right now I can't beat rival 1a because the leech sleep leech seed I don't know why I would need that ether, but, you know, why not? Alright, we still have not beaten Misty yet. I kind of did the extra training there for extra levels. I know the, um, the Starmie has got 59 HP. So I was hoping that if I gained a few more levels, 
I would then be able to... Wow, are you serious? Oh. Oh. Okay. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. The reset still counted. <laughs> Goldeen! Freaking Goldeen! Uh. Hey, John. Welcome to the stream as well. Okay, looks like we did two shot. Now 59 for Starmie, so it'll be three shot. Perfect. Um, I figured if I were to do the Nugget Bridge first, I would accumulate enough HP where I could even survive a critical hit bubble beam. Um, luckily, she only used two water guns, so that was pretty good for me, but I prepared for the worst. Guess see how far back that was? Imagine if I just, like, you know, kept going. <laughs> start over it, yeah. I would have to start over the whole run. Well, John Calibro, you are a uh, morning person. I am not. Um, you can bet your ass. Um, if there was a streamer that I really, really liked, I would not wake up at 7 a.m. for them. <laughs> Just saying. I am so much of a not morning person that I have a hard time even getting up for work at 8, 8 a.m. Technically, I'm scheduled to work at 7.30, but because of my inability to actually wake up early enough to get to work by 7.30, everybody at work just kind of uh, accepts that I show up at 8. I don't think I'm going to ever need, uh, what was that? I already forgot what it was. Um, rest. There's no chance I'll need rest. All right. Bye bye, Mega Punch. Hello, all reliable. Um, I would say that work from home would make a difference, but unfortunately I live so close to work, like 10 minutes away, that like, I don't really sacrifice a lot, uh, more than other people because I live so close to work. Oh, wow. Thank you. It missed Santa attack. I could not have asked for a better gift. Although, I should probably consider holding on to some of these body slams, but I'll probably need them for Surge. Alright, I need 5 HP. I still have a potion, so we'll be fine. What am I doing? I got like crystal on the brain for some reason. Crystal, you have to like go to the left left trainer. <laughs> uh, what time do I think Gengar will get? I actually think Gengar will get uh, right around 52. That is uh, exactly why I set it to 52. I 
at least for the first run. Um, the second run, I think I'll get around 48. Although I'm having a hard time figuring out where I'll be cutting out four minutes from this run. Obviously, I'll be able to cut off like a single minute from that optional rival battle that I, um, that I, uh, did when I shouldn't have. Congratulations, speedrunner. You are you are truly the perfect human being. For those of us who are not going to um, test out every little bit of the run to make sure that it's like perfect and and everything will will go exactly as executed, um, we'll be happy with 48. Um, 41 is not happening. I can tell you that right now. I don't think I'm good enough to get a run like that without loads and loads and loads of practice. Like I did for, um, uh, Speed's Race. Like for Speed's Race, when I set that, like, the record, the record run, I don't even remember what the time was. Um, I think, I think I'm going to end up getting first in the race, you know, spoiler alert. But when I ended up getting that first place run, uh, that was probably my, like, was it sixth run? Three with Haunters and three with Gengars and one, my final, the, the, the run that I think got first place, um, had a random, what is it called? Um, like, Ice-T, I think it was called. Oh, wrong move, wrong move. Like, uh, it, it had, like, a, like, water, like, a, you know, the water you hand to the, the security guard. You had one of those in its inventory. So I was able to skip the entirety of Dark, uh, Rock Tunnel. Which probably saved like two whole minutes off of anybody else's like best time. Possible best time. Now that I think about it, why is Thunderbolt not my first slot? I feel like a resisted Thunderbolt is probably still better than an unresisted body slam. Also, like, PP. What are my plans for Agatha? Put all of her Pokemon to sleep and hit them with... Or, sorry, no. Just Psychic? Like, no sleep, just Psychic? I think the bigger question is, what are my plans for Lance? I think my plans for Lance are put them to sleep and hit them with Body Slam. Or, sorry, a Psychic, not Body Slam. But that's just you know, the plan. Now, the big question here is, do I pick up Psychic as early as possible?
sorry I haven't been able to keep up with the comments. I'm like in the zone right now. I surprisingly did not make any mistakes in that very, very mistake prone area. Okay, let's see. Um, easier. Mimicking substitute blocks confused ray and lick paralysis. The gang there is no substitute, just saying. Um, but that's yellow. Um, the the Gengar you will need to put up uh, put them to sleep. The special is too high. Um, I think I think you'd be surprised. Um, I say so okay. Um, I'll be able to catch back up to the comments as soon as I can get into some of these battles. Oh right, forgot about these calciums. Crap, I just moved the repels to the bottom. That was really stupid. Alright, uh, Mimic would be easier, Haze. So, Steve, question, is it HM Slaves or HM Friends? Um, I have always grown up saying HM Slaves. I never, ever heard a single person call them HM Friends until Squidgy. And honestly, I've never heard them anybody call them HM Friends even after Squidgy. Only him. He is the only one I've ever seen call them that. Yes, I, I do say users sometimes, but it's always slaves or users. I never even, I never really liked Mule. No particular reason why I never liked Mule, just never really did. very interesting not being able to be hit like it's not something you really prepare for or expect like I'm still expecting to like take hits and in, in junk but I'm not Oh, I just noticed uh, you mentioned Farfetch'd. I, uh, isn't it like Spiro is what you trade to get a Farfetch'd? If it is, yeah, it is Spiro. Okay. So that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, huh, I wonder, could you just, you know, kind of always catch a Spiro instead of a Pidgey? And then, like, in the emergency, you know, when there's an emergency and you don't manage to catch a, uh, hold on. You don't manage to catch a Paris, then you can go ahead and just trade the Spiro for the Firo. Or, uh, Spiro for the Farfetch'd. It still leaves you at a problem for, um, Dig Pokemon. You won't have a single Pokemon for Dig, but it's just kind of a theory. But, but then, if you do do that, what about Dig? Diglett defeats like the whole purpose. You might, if you're gonna gonna go ahead and catch a Diglett, you might as well just go get the Sandshrew. I feel like by the time you trade the Spiro for a Farfetch'd, 
Uh, hold on. Crap, somebody's calling me. Spam. It's spam. I'm gonna ignore it. How dare somebody spam call me? I understand that the dig diglet is 100% spawn, but I'm saying the text it takes to trade the Spiro, and remember, you're talking 55%, or sorry, like 50%, well, essentially 50% Spiro and 50% uh, Pidgey, so first of all, you have to get the Spiro to begin with. Um, then the text it takes to trade, the animation it takes to trade, then the ability to go catch the Diglett, I'm pretty sure equates to you probably should just go at should have just caught the, the sand shrew. Just saying. Uh, you know what? I bet you I probably could have beat Koga there with uh, just Psychic. I don't know why I left. That was really, really stupid. Sometimes you forget that uh, Koga's Pokemon are totally different than the trainers. You know, I've been waiting this entire time for uh, Game Dev to ask me a question that he, he asked me like every stream. But I'm not going to say it until he says it. Oh, definitely. Koga is so much easier. Drink of the day. There you go. Um, the drink of the day is a mix. A very, very good mix. It's actually one of my new favorite mixes. Like, um, one of the things I don't really mention on the stream is I try to mix um, things with milk all the time. Like, I love messing with um, milk and whatnot. So today's mixture is about 60% milk, 30% eggnog, and 10% um, 10 uh, French vanilla coffee creamer. And before you say coffee creamer, isn't that for coffee? No, I find coffee creamer to be way, way more potent on milk. You can use like a fourth of the amount of coffee creamer on milk instead of coffee, and you will make so, so much more heavily flavored milk for for so much less coffee creamer. It's great. Uh, personally, if if it didn't have the name coffee creamer, I actually think coffee creamer should be made, made for, for milk. Interesting. What was the ratio? The ratio was about 60% milk, 30 to 35% uh, um, eggnog, and 5 to 10% uh, the, 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 the French vanilla coffee creamer. Oh, guys, did you see that Gen 1 Miss Body Slam? Nice. Gen 1 Miss Body Slam, just saying. Uh, how about a Nuzlocke? Would I trade? Um, you know, I have never considered that idea. I think it's against... So here's how I think it would work for a Nuzlocke. Um, first of all, it would ha the trade itself would have to be within the Nuzlocke parameters. So what I mean by the trade itself has to be within the Nuzlocke parameters, I mean like um, the Pokemon I get from the trade has to be the type that I'm doing the Nuzlocke for. So, you know, it would be like, let's say that trade would be, or that, that run would be like flying type Nuzlocke. Um, 
And first of all, the Pokemon that I use to trade for that Pokemon, I would have to catch regular. Like, like regular Nuzlocke regular. Obviously. Uh... If you like vanilla and eggnog and milk, try Liquid 43 Coffee Creamer. By the way, it's air-dried milk. Interesting. Never heard of it. You might have to remind me uh, of that later because I am not going to remember it off the top of my head. Um, is it true that I heard Coffee Creamer enhances milk more than usual? Hell yes. Absolutely. Coffee Creamer should be renamed Milk Creamer. And uh, I, I, take, I, take, I think that's a very strong opinion. Okay, I think I could probably beat Sabrina, seeing as how well I uh, did against Rival 5. Wait a second. Mm. Actually, I'm not sure. Um, I am i don't know if I'll outspeed. Oh, that was not a one-shot. I was expecting that to be a one-shot. Ooh, that's not good. Um... Okay, okay, I can still win this. I just have to hit the hypnosis. Are you serious? Okay, what's my speed? What's the speed? 115? Okay. Hit. Woke up. Hit. Woke up. Miss. Game over. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, crit. Nice. Crit, nice. Cr not crit, just just hit better. Reflect, okay, okay. Woke up immediately. Crit. Okay, nice. Still not sure if that's the right order, honestly. Oh. <laughs> I don't have to bash. Oh, that's so funny. The one time I actually remember to go do the uh, the boulder candy, I don't have the badge for it. That's very funny. Okay. You know, so be it. I did. I did pull a J Rose. Unfortunately, J Rose usually does it um with the uh, Giovanni's gym. I just, I just straight up did it with the boulder. Don't know why I'm saving. I'm like double the level. By the way, it's starting to look like 52 is going to be like spot on. Just saying for anybody who voted. Um, the under is going to be pretty hard at this point, but the um, but it's going to be like real, real close. Like uh, Cole said at the very beginning of the run, like Steve's going to get like forty-one thirty or forty-two, um, forty-two thirty, and I'm I kid you not that that's exactly how this is looking. Or sorry, not forty, sorry, fifty, fifty-one thirty or fifty-two thirty. Probably don't need the iron, but, you know, I'll take it. Thanks to being in the... Uh, Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. 
Okay, being in the medium slow level up group, I'm level 42 for here. Normally, if you skip as much training as I have, you're usually like level 40-ish, and you can get the um, the accidental battles with the mucks. Okay, I've been a little falling behind on chat. Okay, let's see. Oh boy, you guys are real chatty. Okay. Wins and losses, just winding up. You called us gross. Uh, that Zam had early bird. What are your thoughts on Pokemon from newer generations being added to blue? Oops. Well, I uh, was reading and I noticed that. Um, I I like I like it. Um, I really liked um watching gym leader Matt's videos on those topics. Those exact things. Um, I watched them all the way, I think, up to Volcarona, and then I just kind of stopped. Again, not because of Gym Leader Matt or anything. Stop! I stopped, like, watching YouTube altogether. I started watching TV shows. Um, I would have risked Alakazam had a one-third chance of using Psychic. Oh, thank God I was able to read chat while Blaine was battling. Blaine, you suck. Yep, still looking right on pace for that 52. Takes about, um, takes about a minute to get through Victory Road. Takes about 40, 40, 40 to 45 seconds to do all of these like five to six Pokemon battles. Um, I have all of the Elite Four, obviously the champions, that's five battles. So that, let's just round up to five minutes for that. Then I've got Rival Six, which is obviously going to take about a minute. I've got Giovanni, which is going to also take about a minute. So that's about seven minutes. If you add seven minutes to my current time, that's about 50 so if if everything goes perfectly with no resets at all, I can still be on pace for about 50 minutes. Oh right, I forgot to um, add the time for uh, Victory Road. So 51. If everything goes perfectly, absolutely no resets anywhere. 51. Again, I understand that the battles actually take about 45 seconds and not a minute. So that's like you know. Higher end estimate is 51. I can't promise you that, John Calibro, but un luckily, Dig is the third move on my, uh, on my Sand True. Crazy to think that Thunderbolt is actually my stronger move. Really? Three? Three hypnosis misses? I just needed to hit one. And that kind of stuff can happen too. Honestly, I'm not sure how I'm going to cut four minutes out of this run. It's starting to look like my final time might actually be closer to 50. But um, I'll spend some time at the end of the run thinking it through and see what I can do better. Yeah, I figured it would be a three shot and I had to get the hypnosis. Because of how much damage I took from that psychic, I wasn't I wasn't 100% sure if I'd knock out that uh, Venusaur. Oh, great. Look how close I am to a level up. All right, that means we got to do at least one battle in Victory Road. Probably two, honestly. 1148 is like like that that number where like the higher level Pokémon don't partake like don't always give that much XP. Holy crap. Interesting. Did not see that coming. That 
it's been a long time since I since I had a grass Pokemon, uh, Pokemon in the grass. Great, it's a Machop, so it's gonna be more than two battles. Fantastic, gotta love it. Why are Pokemon so weak in Victory Road? It's like the last area. Come on, man. Oh my god. Are you serious? Four battles in this section. Not a single strong Pokemon. Those wild encounters added like almost an extra 30 seconds to the run, by the way. Our estimate of 51 is now uh, a little bit worse. We have five more battles to go at approximately one minute apiece. So it would be exactly 52. So we have to beat all those battles with no resets, essentially, and we'll get under 52. Any reset will ruin this. Luckily, I can use all of my rare candies up front. And I got all 10 as well. Wait, 10? No! I forgot the um, the boulder candy. Ah, bummer. At least I got to 58. I got the damage rounding threshold. That's all that really matters. Crit? Although I suspect I won't need the crit. I mean, 58 is pretty high. I was uh, totally expecting the freeze there and like freak out. Not one level, huh? Okay. It was a good Lorelei. Um, Agatha, sh as long as I outspeed everything, which I believe her fastest Pokemon is like 180? No, it's not 180. No, it is like 180, isn't it? Either way, uh, I don't expect, I don't expect her to hit me. I think I should be able to sweep her. If anything, two shot, um, the Gengars, but I think it should be a sweep. Yep, two shot the Gengars. Okay. 137. I don't know why I was uh, thinking very, very differently. Luckily, the last Gengar uh, cannot hit me with with Hypnosis, so we're all good. <laughs> In fact, she used a Super Potion. Nice. I did say my second run, I was hoping to get 48. So, if I manage to get, you know, 50... On this first run, that would be... Well, not 50. If I manage to get 51 on the first run, I feel pretty good. Oh, I don't one-shot. Feels bad. Uh, so, Steve, the name of the drink you're drinking today would classified as a French vanilla eggnog latte. Those are a lot of fancy words. But yes. I would agree. That sounds about right. I could cut out a few random trainers and obviously the rival 1A battle, but I don't know how I'm going to cut off like a ton of time. Oh, a crit. You know, that was fast.
Oh, I can definitely cut out a lot of heals, too. Hmm. No, not Tail Whip. Whatever shall I do? Rival 1A is two minutes on its own. You also got to remember Rival 2, um, I think, was also two attempts because of all the misses. Oh, no, not Mega Drain. Okay, I clicked that a second too late, but 51-21 for the first run. So, uh, what do you know? Cole Daniels was almost exactly spot on when he said 5130. Yeah, the early game is where we can definitely save a lot of time. I agree. Um, the mid game is mostly just going to be like playing things in a more proper order, I think. Let me hit my uh, hit the restroom and uh, we can go over the whole run and see how I think it'll go. Okay. Okay. So, mm. what we can do, obviously, skip rival one A because that one was uh, terrible. Um, at no point I think where the battle's hard. Um, what could I have used that would have made a difference? So let's let's take a look. Um, what could I have done differently to make a difference? in this run um unfortunately there's nothing i can do early to make uh it any better hmm yeah as far as moves there's there's nothing i can do to make this any better early at least um no training obviously now should i consider doing the um the junior trainer because of how perfect that was 11 damage does exactly half or sorry one third of the geodude and 12 damage does exactly one third of the geo or onyx or just like you know skip that battle altogether and you know just take the worst damage round or uh not not even damage round just take the worst nightshade rounding hmm that won't take much time at all either There were so many times where I got, um, probably did unnecessary heals. I probably picked up too many vitamins. I could probably cut out vitamins off of the run, too. Still obviously want rare candies. Those are extremely useful. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything I can do with the move set. Unfortunately, the move set is what it is. The only thing that really could change is um, instead of body slam, I could use um, uh, nightshade. But honestly, I think body slam's just straight better because I think nightshade will be a three shot on Alakazams and body slam is a two shot on most of the Alakazams. So obviously, that's an improvement. Hmm. There's nothing I can do that would make the Alakazams themselves better. 
Um, one thing I think I can also do is I can do Blaine early, so that way I can possibly be a higher level and take less damage on Sabrina, so I don't have to get that one reset on Sabrina. Although, to be fair, I think the one reset on Sabrina was mostly because of the Body Slam uh, Gen 1 miss. No, it was Rival 6 that I had the Gen 1 miss. It was uh, Sabrina I had the Hypnosis bad luck. Um, yeah. Huh, not really seeing a lot I can do to change change things. Obviously, my time is not really going to be very competitive with uh, everybody else's who's done this. Everybody else has kind of mapped the run out, and I'm kind of going, for the most part, pretty blind. I mean, I've played it once. Like, that's okay mapping, but, you know, that's not like what some of these guys... They, they do their, their lay, like, they write down the damage, like, thresholds. Boy, I really want the run to be competitive with, um, with Alakazam, but I feel like the only way I can get a competitive run with Alakazam is if I get no resets, like Alakazam. Okay. Yeah, there's not a lot that can be changed. I can pretty much just map things slightly differently. Like after Koga, you know, I could do um, Erica. Or even better yet um i could do erica actually it would make even more sense if i do erica right after pokemon tower because after pokemon tower i have to go back to celadon anyways um right there i can go ahead and pick up psychic and then i can go ahead and battle erica and that would make it slightly more on on pace yeah, tiny, little, it's the little things that will make a big difference. And I think um, picking up pretty much no vitamins will probably also make a difference. I can pretty much pick, mit, skip picking up a lot of items. That was pretty much what it went down to in the uh, randomizer race with uh, Speedrunner. Those, it pretty much just went down to who could cut out the most items for the most part. Um, I don't remember if I had body slam that run at all. I don't think I did. Not that it mattered. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Just give me one second. Okay, there we go. Everything is uh, now set. All right, that's good. Our DVs are all good. Um, refresh HTML just in case. All right, and our nickname is going to be Casper. Oh, actually, there is something I want to do. Hold on. I knew there was something. Start a poll. Uh, how... Uh, when will I beat the champion? Over 50 minutes. Under 50. Not 590. Did I spell minutes wrong? No. There we go. Oh, hey, Remill. Welcome to the stream. So, uh, I'm going to reset. There we go. All right. We are all good. 
we don't have to change anything in game because, well, uh, we don't start a timer until after we receive our Pokemon and name it. Alright, and don't worry guys, I understand that it looks black, but Gengar is Casper. It is friendly. It is more blue than black. Trust me. I would not lie to you. Oh, dude. Dude, this is going to be a very tough ask for going under. I'm not even sure if I can do it, but I, uh, I will definitely do my best. You'll certainly get my best effort. Also, I did a lot of wild Pokemon. Um, so I just realized there is no actual way of getting that Geodude Onyx thing to be consistent. So I'm not even going to bother with um, wild Pokemon. And I'm also not even going to bother with the... Uh, with the Junior... Light Years Junior Trainer. Also, by the way... I had some of the worst encounter luck I've ever had in Mount Moon, so that can also be a plus. Oh, I already know that Gengar is purple. I was just, you know, doing the blue thing, you know, or saying the blue thing to make it like a Casper reference. Oh, also, I'm poison type. Uh, I did not need those antidotes. I was holding on to those antidotes the whole game. You saw nothing. I literally just talked about the antidotes. I literally also just talked about not going out of the way to pick up items. But um, I feel like those early items, those do matter. The, um, the potions, because I used all of them, but I think two, so the potions do matter. I don't think 11 nightshades will be enough, because I'm also not level 11 or 12 this time. I'm level 7. Okay, well, obviously, we're still gonna... Oh, the question is, will Bide knock us out? Looks like he won't get the chance, because he never used Bide. Cool, cool, I'm glad. Uh, you know, good job, Brock. Um, really smart gameplay. I'm uh, very happy that you decided to let me win, when you definitely had an avenue to victory. I grabbed five Pokeballs this time. I don't even think I'll need those because Nightshade just makes it so much easier to catch Pokemon. Also, I did learn from the last run, if you see uh, a Pidgey, go ahead and use your best move. Nightshade or uh, Mega Punch. 147 ahead, Jesus. This is such a big difference. <laughs> uh, also, normal types like Rattata make sure to avoid. Wait, that did no damage. How did it still... Oh, right. Is that just like a glitch where Rap still wraps the screen? Interesting. Oh no, not horn attack. Whatever shall I do? Okay, I think at this point I can probably switch over to Nightshade. I've got seven Nightshades in a Pokemon Center coming up. I only need one more for Pokemon, uh, wild Pokemon. 
Unfortunately, no far-fetched. Not that I think anybody was actually considering me actually getting far-fetched. But now you will know that there is definitely no far-fetched. Alright, definitely no wild Pokemon until we get to Mega Punch. Also, wild encounter, still not great. Don't need the potion. Oh, also we could have... Oh, hey, there we go. Nightshade. Now we don't have to waste that time uh, catching the... San, uh, San True. Jesus! The wild encounter luck is still bad. <laughs> still so bad. Alright, now we have a Pokemon dedicated to strength. You spelled ghastly wrong. Just saying. There's no H. Trust me. I learned this a while ago. Jesus, there's so many battles. It's just as bad as the last run. Ugh, I don't even knock it out in one hit. Bummer. I don't know what the better move to use is, but I'm just going to go ahead and stick with Nightshade because until I run out. Nightshade is just nice, consistent, non-missing damage. I like not missing. I like doing damage. Cool, cool. Of course, that was at 1 HP. Oh, yay. I only use Mega Punch three times, and they all three missed. Four. Four misses. Four misses. I'm not... Uh, it's only going to get worse. No sand true, though. Now I'm going to be a significantly lower level for this rival battle. Question is, will I get hit by sand attack like last time? No, got a miss. No stand attack. Yes. Okay. That means we are going to have PP to spare. As long as I don't miss 20 mega punches. Okay. I like consistent damage. Consistent damage seemed good for Bulbasaur. My moves seem to be in a very weird order. Um, can I go through here with just my potions? I have so much more PP than last time. Ah, oh, sand attack. No, double sand attack. Great. All right, we're about to go on a lick missing streak, of course. Uh huh. And okay. Well, you know what? You lower our attack. I have to go ahead and hit you with Nightshade. Not gonna lie, that Pidgey may have just cost us. You know what? Never mind. What am I thinking? We're just gonna go ahead and use the elixir. We don't need to heal. That's ridiculous. Why would we heal? Okay, come on. 
We have to get through Nugget Bridge. There's still so many battles in Nugget Bridge. I have five Mega Punches left. Okay, at least no sand attack there. That's right, Mickey. You can't hit me. Even if this was Yellow Virgin, you had low kick. You still couldn't hit me. That is exactly what it feels like, Cole. I agree. The worst part is I've had runs where Mega Punch is, like, not bad. Like, it actually is 85% accurate. I've had runs where that happens. Obviously not this one. Or the last one. Alright, well that should give me enough PP to make it through the rest of the... The route, hopefully. Hmm, that crit just reminded me. My crit luck is actually kind of bad this run so far. I have not gotten too many crits. Do I need... I I don't think I used the ether last time. I guess I don't need it. How dare you survive? All right, I feel like we're truly making a great pace now that we didn't go back to heal. Now the big question is, will Goldeen knock us out? That's more like it, Goldeen. You stay down. Were IVs a thing in Gen 1? Uh, they were, but they were called um, DVs. Um, I always set mine to the maximum, which is 15, which I know in the later games it's 31, in this game it's 15. Alright, so far so good. We have pretty much cut out as much time as I want to say is humanly possible that we can cut out. Now, annoying drowsy, not so annoying, interesting was not expecting to knock it out in one hit like that, considering we're not using a physical attacker and Mega Punch is still a pretty mediocre move. Alright, we're about to start seeing the last of Mega Punch. We're just going to go ahead and use Mega Punch until it won't carry us anymore. And then we will immediately teach it over with body slam and the best part is since it's in slot one we can just literally hold the a button the whole time and it will teach right over it One, two, three, four. All right. The last of Mega Punch. You got one more miss in there. Good job, Mega Punch. That is the last we will see of you. You went out with a bang by getting that, that one miss. 
confirmed all of our theories why we had to get rid of you in the first place. Unfortunately, this is a two-shot. No burn. That's all we care about. I definitely took a risk there. Um, I forgot that I sold the uh, full restore. Oh, great. Great. The rival decided to use a sand attack and make this a lot more interesting. Oh, three misses. Four misses. Oh, boy. Um, before we get off the ship, we have to go grab that ether. Yes. Let's go grab that ether. Oh, almost forgot. Cut. Imagine how bad that would have been. For those of you who don't know it, where the ether is, it's right next to the max potion. First room's max potion room. Third room is ether room. Guess I shouldn't have said next to. It's uh, technically next to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's next to the rest restroom. Oh, that's great. Gotta love it when you make jokes that you don't even, you never even thought about making. Oh, I could have used a potion. Hopefully it won't bite me in the butt. Well, my defense is irrelevant. In fact, uh, you badge boosted me, so thank you. Fully parad. Love it. Alright, get our body slam PP back for the wrapping last. Alright, just because speed requests that I do this sometimes, let's go ahead and just do that too. Who knows, it might knock off another five seconds off the end of the run. Oh yay, thun stun spore. If, uh, that could not have gotten more annoying. Fully parried. Great. I mean, it's not like we can die by rap. It's just frustrating. We're about to lose a lot of time, Cole. Maybe. Maybe lose a lot of time. Interesting. I uh, fully expected that to take longer. I don't know where you're saying. I'm. I. It's by all the minor things. All doing every little minor thing right. That is where I'm saving all this time. That is just about it. Doing all the little things correctly. What am I doing? I did that mistake last... Oh, it still wouldn't have been a three-shot. Actually, it's... Nightshade still would have been a three-shot, so I guess that doesn't matter that I did that wrong. No! Not Stun Spore! Are you serious? These trainers, they're testing my patience. 
I cannot die to the exploding hiker. But it's annoying that they're really, really trying. I don't know why I'm saving. Force a habit. Oh, rock throw. I forgot about that. Thank you. Thank you. Still one more trainer to go, though. Gotta be careful. Okay. Uh, turns out my thing ran out. Sure, we'll use that too. Okay. Uh, this trainer has a Pidgey, so, uh, you know, sand attack, all that good stuff. Didn't matter. Cool, cool. Love it, love it. Okay, last battle before we can finally heal. I guess on the bright side, we can't be burned. Uh, mine was not on purpose. Um, I literally looked at um, all fighting types, and there weren't any fighting types left. So I'm like, okay, well, there's only one ghost type. I might as well stick the ghost type with the fighting types. Has absolutely nothing to do with Halloween. Just a complete and utter coincidence. I was actually kind of hoping for Hitmonlee this week. No, don't get me wrong. I'm still very, very happy with, uh, with Gengar. But so far, things are going quite well. I'm uh, not sure how I'm going to improve, though, but we'll... We're finding a way. Alright, sell. Potion. Nugget. Buy. No, not you. Buy from you. No. Okay, two more. There we go. Now we got our nine. Get our one Poke Doll. Buy our two calciums because we can. Oh, also, actually, it looks like we can buy a third calcium. Okay, so far, so good. Get fly. Go ahead and fly over Lavender. We'll get Psychic after Lavender. Although, now that I think about it, it would not really have cost me any time to go get Psychic before Lavender, and it would have helped me one-shot the Gastlies instead of two-shot the Gastlies. Not that I think that makes much of a difference at all. Oh, it also probably would have let me one-shot that Ivysaur. Do I use keyboard for these runs? Yes. Um, don't let that, that fool you though. Um, I know speedrunner and a lot of other people use controllers and considering how, um, closely matched speedrunner myself are, I would say there's pretty much no difference between controller and keyboard. I just, whenever I used controller, I found going through like gates and fences a little bit harder to time up. Especially like, you know, by Viridian. Um, yeah, by Viridian. 
both the gym and uh, by Indigo Plateau. Like getting into the gym, I go over that fence every once in a while. Um, the um, going through the little grass area to get to to the Indigo Plateau. Sometimes you go over that one, which, uh, by the way, of all the mistakes I've ever made in this game, because you know I always say, oh, I make that mistake. That's like the first time I've ever done that or first, like, first time I've done it a long time. I've never made that mistake. Not once have I ever jumped that fence on stream. Um, oh, and then the boulder. The, um, the boulder in Victory Road itself. Also harder to do on controller. All right, this is where we grab Psychic and the extra PP up. <sighs> Darn it. Forgot that uh, technically Saffron's like the last city, like one of the last cities in the game. Oh, another tiny little improvement that I can make is uh, I can not, I can, like, I healed last time before Koga. Should not have done that. Uh, I clearly one-shot sweeped him very easily. Crap. Close. Yeah, 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 I need to pick Psychic. Um, the next time I enter my bag, um, which will be right here, I'll, I'll use Psychic. Or I'll... I like to think about the little things, like uh, entering the bag is kind of a waste of time, so if I'm going to enter the bag, I might as well do it for a purpose. Okay, you saw nothing. Crap. Uh, I entered the bag for that purpose, and then I didn't didn't use the purpose of entering the bag, which was to use the repel. That was, that was very remarkably dumb. Okay. Bag space is looking good. Um, about time to move Thunderbolt to the top of the move set. Oh, uh, no healing items, by the way. Just uh, now noticed that, just pointing it out. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Are we about to get our first reset? We could very easily get a reset on this guy. I wonder if I should consider using Hypnosis. worth it don't even need to save can easily knock him out with psychic outside of a gen 1 miss and a no even, we're like we double resist sludge like there's absolutely nothing he can do we don't we don't remember that call we pretend that never happened Uh, 
Uh, also, I just remember we have not beat Erica yet. So let's go beat Erica. I have six psychics. That will be more than enough. Didn't battle a random trainer in here, just saying. Really? You have no move that can hit me. Really? Alright, I don't think I need to save. Uh, we single resist her grass moves. You survived. How dare you? Okay, now we can go get uh, strength. Because uh, we have a Geodude, so we can actually teach strength immediately if we want. And we definitely want. Alright, now we are off to Rival 5, where we will not forget Lapras. And we will not grab the extra 7th floor calcium, because it is a waste of time. Also, because we bought an extra calcium while we were already uh, around uh, at the Mart. Don't know how I was able to afford it this time, but you know, we found a way. We still have to go to the 10th floor for the red candy. The Carbos is just a nice added plus that we're getting with the rare candy. You know, we're saying goodbye to that guy because we're, nice, we're a nice person and we care about people's feelings. Definitely not because I was just holding A. I always grab this Hyper Potion, so that way I have uh, something to heal with after after doing the Rival. Uh, I think in the last run you took a loss instead of resetting. Yeah, these things happen. How dare you hit me with Ember? Just how dare you? Hypnosis, miss, okay, hypnosis, got you that time. Three shot, also could have used body slam, not sure how much of a difference body slam would have made. Bro, you cannot be using your leech seed stats, that's so rival two of you, or rival one A of you. Oh, I had less cash because of that. Yeah, that makes sense. Aha, I knocked down our biggest uh, biggest enemy in the whole run. The thing that had the absolute best damage to us. If you guys didn't uh, catch my drift, it was that, um, that, that Marowak. Technically, the strongest move in the entire game against us is uh, Bone Club. 100 base power move. Um, yeah. Oh, I did not need to heal there. Yeah, 100 base power move. Obviously, uh, weakness. Takes advantage of our low defense. Heal here for the uh, dig spot. All right, completely ignore 
both the calcium and the carbose. Or sorry, calcium and the iron. Carbose is in the way. I might as well pick it up. Also, let's not battle the extra trainer in here this time. So this is a yes. This is a no. The whole middle section is no. Oh, we're not forgetting Sabrina. We're purposely pushing her off until after I get the special badge boost. Okay, and we are just going to go ahead and spam Thunderbolt. Uh, the only thing here that could possibly even be remotely scary is the Arcanine with the Fire Blast. It makes me believe that maybe I should consider Hypnosis for Arcanine, but that's it. Also, I just got hit by a lot of Fire Spins. Quite annoying. Especially since I outspeed. Cool. Cool. Uh, you woke up immediately. Hate that. Alright, fingers crossed we can now beat Sabrina. I know our time isn't comparable because we did things out of order, but... After we beat Sabrina, it should be uh, we should be heading over to Giovanni, and that should be comparable. Ow. Okay, well, we have to land Hypnosis then. Missed, but Psy Wave. Woke up immediately, okay. You woke up. How dare you wake up? Cool, cool. No resets. We're, we're very happy with that. I kid you not, my eyes actually kind of hurt from not blinking. <laughs> I had to literally think there to blink. Such good progress. Such, such good progress, guys. All of you underbackers, it's looking real good. Hey, we didn't get a Gen 1 miss there on the, uh, the Doug Trio and accidentally have to take a massive dig. You're saying we're almost five minutes ahead? That's crazy. Have I forgotten anything? All right, according to Gamehook, I have 10 rare candies, so there's only one more rare candy left in here, so we have not forgotten any rare candies. Uh, if we manage to hit Hypnosis on this, uh, this Alakazam, we'll also save even more time. Oh my god, we're about to have a resetless rival six. Are are we about to have another are we about to have a perfect run? This is awesome. Also, look at how close we are to a level up. 
we are not close to a level up at all, so we are just not going to do any wild encounters, which is also going to save us time. I mean, we are one level lower than last run. So I'm going to go ahead and say we cut out like basically every itty bitty tiny battle in the entire game. We cut it all out and uh, we cut out. We are going to save so much time because of it. Oh, actually, you know what I just thought about? We forgot a rare candy last run, and we didn't forget a rare candy this run. We were literally going to head into the league at the same level. The exact same level. With no wild encounters and no random trainers that I accidentally battled. Or wild Pokemon. Because I remember uh, I battled a lot of wild Pokemon in Mount Moon and whatnot last time. Of course, though, for the Elite Four last time, we had no resets, so... Oh, wait, hold on. Didn't we have one reset? I can't remember. I feel like we had one reset. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. So this should bring us up to 58. Ah, uh, it was the champion fight. You're right. I had a reset on the Alakazam. It might have even been two resets on the Alakazam. Oh, interesting. So that means the crit I got on Dugong was, in fact, relevant. Interesting. I assumed the crit didn't matter. Okay, well, Jinx is going to survive no matter what move I used. Alright, no need to save or heal or even get my PP back. This should be easy. Psychic sweep. Um, I will have to get PP back for Agatha. I believe. But that's about it. Funny thing is, the last run you had one less rare candy, but you were one level higher. Exactly. Exactly. It was all those random wild battles and it, uh, and accidental trainers I battled too. Okay, so it looks like it's still going to be a two-shot this time, though. I didn't get confused by the Gengar, so I didn't hit myself. And I am in much better... Oh my god, resetless. Or, sorry, damageless. Save myself some full restore time. Alright, I believe last time I... I think I used Thunderbolt on Gyarados, and I spam Psychic the rest of the way. I mean, they can't really hit me other than Dragon Rage. I think. Oh, right. Uh, technically, Thunderbolt was a better move to use there. That's my bad. Oh, right. They can't hit me. Cool. Cool. Poison type. Wow, we, uh, you know, I mean, I expected to cut out some minutes, and some of you guys said, you know, it was going to be really close, and I, I agreed with you. I thought it was going to be really, really close. Uh, turns out, we were all wrong. Wow. We were so close. So close to perfection. 
I don't know if we'll make it under 45 now. If everything goes right, I'm not sure if we can make 45. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm not sure how close it's going to be. We got the Leer. That's uh, not great. Would have been great if uh, we didn't level up there. Oh, unless we get a crit here, we are not killing this Venusaur in one hit. <sighs> we needed the crit. 4502, though. 45. Very exciting. <laughs> oh, fun stuff. Well, you know, I had my doubts after that first run that we were going to be able to even got get like top two or I mean top three on the leaderboard. But uh, turns out Gengar is an absolute beast. Um, 45 minutes. Let's see where this puts us. And honestly, could have been 44. Yep. Undisputed, number one. Well over a whole minute ahead. Honestly, probably closer to two, uh, close to three minutes ahead. Wow. Yeah. Alakazam, by the way, resetless. I mean, to be fair, that was back when I was a little bit worse. But to be fair... Actually, I don't know why I should say it. I don't remember when I did that Alakazam run, honestly. That Alakazam rerun was probably like eight months ago. I probably can beat that Alakazam run now. But I remember that the Alakazam run, unlike the Gengar run, actually has luck involved. Like, a lot of luck involved. Like, um, uh, opponents have the opportunity to hit you and knock you out. Like, you actually need a little bit of luck. Like, for instance, um... Blaine's Arcanine can technically get a ta uh, takedown crit and knock you out. And I'm sure there are more instances than just that. But there are instances where you can lose with, uh, with Alakazam. But... Anyways, that was a fantastic run. Uh, by the way, if any of you guys uh, didn't catch yesterday's stream, uh, the next stream will be on Thursday, and we will be doing Speedrunner, myself, and John Calibro, all doing either Chansey or Ponyta. It's starting to look like Chansey. So uh, it will be a miserable run, and it will be all of our miserable run. So thank you very much. I appreciate you st stopping by, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Have a nice night, guys. Bye.